Do you want to create an animated GIF inside your tooltip to add useful instructions for your end users? So something like this. Let's go. Here's my Power BI report, and I want to be able to hover over things and show the end user that you can do this sort of stuff, okay, without me having to tell them each time. I want a nice little recording of me doing this. And then when they hover over this icon here, they get a little recording of it, okay, so they can see what's going on. All right, and you can do this with PowerPoint. If you've got PowerPoint and Office 365, you can do this right now, okay? So what do we do? Well, we go into PowerPoint, okay? And there is a record option and you can record your screen. So I'm clicking on screen recording and then you grab the area you want to record, okay? So there's normally a little option up here to say select area. And I want to go from here down over here and try and go in a sort of 16 by nine ratio if you can, but it doesn't really matter. You just pick whatever you want. Okay, so I'm just gonna go for that section. Start recording. Remember this Windows key shift Q, okay? So I'm gonna click this and I'm gonna hover and then I'm gonna click down here and move your mouse slowly when you're showing somebody this stuff. Okay, when you're recording, you don't have to do it too quick, okay? Awesome, then Windows Shift Q to quit recording. Then I go into PowerPoint and my recording is here. I haven't found a clever way yet of hiding the sort of borders or making the shape exactly right. If there is a way, then please let me know in the notes below. I even tried going right click, save as picture and save it as GIF, but it didn't play. So I'm not sure about that, but this is the way I found it works. Go to file and say export uh, and then pick animated GIF or GIF, whichever one's going to annoy you. I'm going to get it wrong. So I say GIF. Okay. So create an animated GIF. Doesn't really matter about this time. And then just go create. And then I'll just save it. Okay. I'll save it into this. I'll save over the top of this one I created before. Demo and save. Okay. Yes, please. Right, then you go into Power BI and you add a page, okay? And you make this a tooltip page. So page information, allow users tooltip on, and then under canvas settings, go for custom size. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna double this to 480 by 640. You can go whatever size you want. And then for the background, I'm going to browse for that GIF or GIF. Annoyingly, Microsoft always put these backgrounds at 100% transparent. I hope they fix that one day. It's a really bad user interface feature. Okay. And there we go. There's my working little image. You can go for um, fit or fill and you can try and resize the shape as well or if normal works, then stick with that, okay? Right, how do I make, how do I trigger this tooltip to pop up? Well, I've added a simple little measure called hover for help equals hover for help, All right? That's the measure. Um, and really, when you start doing this stuff, please document these things, you know, used in tooltip for X, Y, Z, okay? Put your page names or whatever you're using it for. Uh, right, so now we go to the sales page or whatever page you want the tooltip to pop up on, add a card visual, add your measure, turn off the category label, go into general effects and you can turn off the background and all this sort of stuff, okay, and you can do all your formatting. Now when you hover, nothing happens because card visuals don't show tooltips by default, but you simply go to general under the paintbrush, tooltips on. And then when somebody hovers, it triggers the tooltip. Pretty cool. Hope you find that useful. Let me know what you think. Tell other people about this channel and I'll catch you later.